Sometimes, you know, Julia, I don't recognize our country anymore. Oh. It's filled with Islamists parading around the streets praising terrorists. My fellow Islamists. Hello. And myself also Islamist. Islamist. Do you want to speak with confidence like these amazing personalities? Every single one of these amazing speakers have taken the same program with Brother Muhammad Arshad. Muhammad Arshad has helped develop all of us. It's extremely beneficial to do this course. I definitely recommend this course. To access the free life-changing training now. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh brothers and sisters and dear friends we have got a content for you guys we're going to react to which you are going to be amazed with flabbergast it's going to bring coolness to your eyes a content a content many contents it's of Douglas Murray Douglas ah oh, like what you did there Douglas who when the event got cancelled he was in a bit of a hurry but I told him don't worry <laughs> okay do you want to watch it uh, so so they were doing an event for I think the these reservists uh, so they've been reserved to get liquidated. Okay. Yeah. So, so they, Israeli soldiers, yeah. Israeli soldiers, yeah. So we're not sure if it's in this country or Israel. Who cares? But apparently they had to go join the army and the So he's raising money for yeah. extremists. Yeah, so the education was affected apparently, so they have to go to join the army. So they have to raise funds for them because right now they left their education to go and uh, commit a genocide. Yeah. If so they're not just, committing just, a genocide, then they're on TikTok videos, dancing. Yeah, exactly. Not very yeah. well. So if they really educated themselves about history, they would not be committing a genocide. So maybe they should go back to education rather than genocide. Agreed. Now, let's watch what he had to say and let's see how he had the meltdown. The event was meant to go ahead at the Apollo Theater on Shaftesbury Avenue. It was sold out. And it was, as you say, uh, to raise funds for uh, students at the Israeli University, many of whom have been uh, called up in wartime and their education have, has been completely disrupted. And uh, so, yes, it was a conversation uh, that I was being interviewed by the actress Louisa Klein. Uh, it said apparently they felt unsafe about the event. Uh, then something very sinister occurred. Uh, the uh, CEO of NIMAX, uh, who is herself Jewish, um, started to get scared, it seems. She called in staff from another theatre, and one of her own staff uh, leaked the emails of the people who were going to work as ushers and uh, so on on the evening. And then they themselves uh, dropped out from fear. Uh, by this yes. time. Had they, had they, they, they actually received emails threatening them? That's not clear to me, actually, at the moment. <laughs> it's interesting. It's, nowadays, you know, Julia, uh, in our country, it seems even Marks. the threat of a threat uh, is enough to make people uh, cancel an event. Uh, and uh, I, for any rate, uh, at any rate, don't uh, respect that at all. Uh, my view, if, uh, if a theatre receives threats uh, about an event that's ongoing, there's one thing they do, which is they call the Metropolitan Police and they say, your job is to protect this venue and make sure that the yes. evening passes off safely. Uh, but they didn't do that. They just, as cowards as they are, um, cancelled the event. Like. Absolutely outrageous. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, Julia, I don't recognise our country anymore. It's oh. filled with Islamists parading around the streets praising terrorists. My fellow Islamists. Hello. And myself also Islamist. Islamist. Are we calling for jihad? <laughs> okay, so what do you make of that? Because to me it's just like, it's just amazing. The double standards, this this um, entitlement, it's unbelievable. I mean, just imagine for a second that we as Muslims hire a theatre to raise funds to a specific extremist organization government that's well accepted it. by the planet yes for being an occupier yes there's an international court that accepts genocide to some degree taking yes. place so that term can't be taken off the table yes. this guy comes on national television and says oh people are getting scared because yeah. they don't want to do this event yeah well People whose families have been occupied, people that have been carpet bombed, yes. people, babies, babies, women, children, you know, their relatives are yeah. clearly going to be upset. But just, nah, just, nah, just, just imagine that for a second nah. that this is happening by a Muslim government or a body or a, whatever you want to call it, a group towards uh, Jewish people or the Christians or atheists for that matter. And imagine in London, I hold an event and I rent a theatre and I say, we are going to raise funds for these reservists who had to go and join this army on this genocide. There would have been sanctions on that country. Bro, 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 forget sanctions. Bro, just imagine for a second. And then I came and said, yeah, but it's my freedom of speech or or it's, you know, the freedom for me to do this event or whatever. Bro, do you really think this bastard here is going to say, yeah, Ali, we defend your right to freedom of speech? Never. Look at the double standards and hypocrisy. If I was to do such a thing, they talk about freedom of speech. Freedom of speech when it suits you. Yeah. When you are insulting Islam, burning the Quran, it's freedom of speech. If I was to hire that event and said, I'm going to do an event talking about why I believe the Holocaust never happened. 
do you think do you think the scum dirtbag is going to defend my right to freedom of speech or do you think he's going to call it out and say why is the metropolitan police allowing this to happen when it's them they say why is the metropolitan police defending us for the event to happen if i was to do an event denying the holocaust they would say why is the metropolitan police defending them no you're for- wrong you're wrong there you go you, no no you're wrong yeah i am because you're talking about denying the holocaust yes even if you mention Holocaust in the same line as? as the Gazan genocide, oh. even then, how dare you? Like the Labour MP, you yeah. could be suspended, or like the Sky News anchor, mm. your job could mm. be. Mm. And if you are even objective in your news articles, you are supporting. No, whoa, Hamas. No, <laughs> in your face, uh, Douglas Murray. Just two other clips. Let's watch, inshallah. Yeah. So interesting. So now he's now he's now he's equating. <laughs> if uh, if you don't like Israel, um, you don't like Britain. Britain. <laughs> so so this this is this is unbelievable. This is yeah? a joke. So this attitude of people. Can you imagine coming out and asking? By the way, in these marches there are thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, of non-Muslims. Yeah. So now they are being claimed. They are being accused of anti-Semitism. Now it's not just the Muslims that hate apparently Jews. Now it's them. This is an absolute BS propaganda. We as Muslims are not taught anywhere in our religion that we hate Jews. One of the prophet's wives was a Jew, so to us, the, the people from the book, we can eat from, was from a their Jew food. Or used to be a Jew. Used to be a Jew, but but still, we're talking ethnically, not religiously. The point is that, that ethnically, she was a Jew. We do not have that hatred towards them, and even when it comes to religiously, we have our differences. But nowhere in our religion does it tell us to be hostile towards them or to even do oppression towards them. You know, and the Prophet peace be upon him said, anyone that harms a dhimmi who lives under the protection of Muslims will not smell the fragrance of paradise. So you can see the hypocrisy where he's trying to equate. Look, we're not going to fall in this trap. Let's go back on point. The point is that mm. there is an occupying force killing women and children. Yeah. There are footage being released on a daily basis. It's gone to a South African court. It is no longer a difference of opinion. Yeah. This is something that's clear as day. If you are raising money for that, rest assured, people will come. You're talking about cowards. I was going to Pe- be there. I heard it was cancelled. Yeah, bro, we 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 would be there. We would be cowards if we're not there. Yes. In fact, I'm glad that people would go there and shut such uh, shut down such events because just like you have conditions on freedom of speech that yeah, is free speech as long as it doesn't you know uh, cause hate. It doesn't as long as it doesn't cause violence. Both hate and violence is being caused by your marches, yes. by your people. Uh, Israel and what they're doing, mm. Bill Ijma by consensus mm. of the planet. Yes, you've got America. Yes, you've got Britain. Okay, a few countries here and there in Europe, but even there's cracks emerging in Europe as well. You've got Spain and Italy, even those are somewhat breaking ranks as well. So yeah. on the one hand, you know, you're saying, yeah, freedom of speech, but not freedom of speech if it mm. hurts the feelings of mm. uh, the, the Jew. It's not even Jews because even Jews have a problem as well. They're Zionists. Yes, they're Zionists. And a landmark victory was today of Professor David Miller, who was sacked from Bristol University wow. for having anti-Zionist views. He won his case today, wow. which shows a precedent has been set that you are allowed to have anti-Zionist views. Alhamdulillah, we will have it. And lastly, ending on this note. Interesting. I am not sensitive as well, but I have feelings. So contradiction. When unbelievable. When you are attacking Islam and our holy prophet peace be upon him, uh, uh, the prophet peace be upon him, the Quran, uh, desecrating it. That's he, freedom of speech, mate. You stop. Don't be hurt. You yeah. know. But in the same breath, he says, "But I have feelings. My country has feelings." Oh, are you are you psychologically disturbed? Is there is, is this cognitive dissonance? Is there is there a compartmentalization? What is going on? Is this left side of your brain? I don't know if you have one. Is it a paralyzed? Crash? Yeah. It's not, what's what's going on? In the same breath, you're like, "Yeah, you know, I'm not that insensitive, but we have feelings." 
that's the point as Muslims been saying for it's the past it's just a contradiction what the hell are you on about yeah, that, and that's the thing when people start attacking Islam and you know even when you're rejecting Islam as well it leads you to absurdities and this uh, this guy is a walking absurdity yes. he's clearly an agent yes. of Israel pathetic you see him in Tel Aviv like, oh there's a bomb coming yeah. over me oh yeah. I'm okay I'm brave I don't <laughs> care calling his own countrymen cowards because yes. they care about their lives yeah. because they don't want to support Occupiers, um, yeah. or because they're like, you know what? I don't want to give my life or my yeah. well-being to these people that I have no connection with, and exactly. he's trying to con- create a connection when there is no connection. Mm. Israel has is like a leech; it's been sucking from the UK and the US, and it's high time yes. that the British and the Americans realize that their taxpayers and they are. are going to these jokers, frankly, uh, yes. that just care about themselves. Exactly. Christians over there are being spat at, and yes. they're told it's just part of our culture. Yes, exactly, exactly. And not only that, the Americans are waking up and they're saying, look, I am so good with Israel and uh, Zionism and whatever, but America first. The Americans are waking up and saying, yeah. why are we sending billions of dollars and putting this country first so much so that we have um, legal requirements in certain states that they have to show, uh, show allegiance to Israel. Yeah, what the hell is going mad. on? It's mad. Anyway, the people are waking up. The whole world mad. is waking up. Come on. From your fellow Islamists with the jihad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.